Alright, uh, Shalom, before I start and give all praises to Yahweh Bachem, Yahweh Shai Bachem, Rashta Bwanish to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim, walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. It's going to be a uh, real quick uh, video through the Spirit, just something I was pondering on. So, uh, you know, basically a question I'm putting forth to anyone who likes to claim that all black people are descendants of Ham, that there's no possibility for the African Americans to be uh, Hebrew Israelites. Uh, you know, also, you know, Native Americans, uh, Latinos as well, because they like to say that this uh, situation dealing in Genesis explains, you know, us, the plight of black people, you know, being slaves for so long, this and that. Well, this, uh, I'm going to show you how this actually helps prove uh, who we are, all right? All right, so right here, we're going to be dealing with uh, Genesis 9, and we're going to start at verse uh, 21. It says, and he drank the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. So we know that when Noah, you know, he was so happy after the flood, he got drunk one night all right, in his tent. And it says this, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. So we know this, you know, situation. Ham had seen uh, Noah's father naked, which is uh, basically a disgrace. You know, we're so used to uh, how society is now. You, you know, you may have been a child, you was, you know, bathing or showering uh, with your parents, you know, without, you know, uh, uh, without any covering. All right, but that's not supposed to, uh, you know, hey, we're back then things were a lot more holier and a lot more strict. All right. It wasn't, uh, uh, you know, females or even, you know, now you go to the gym, a bunch of random, you know, dudes got to get changed. Hey, some dudes have some decency and they try to go, you know, you know, step out of the way so you don't see them. But some dudes would be, hey, especially old Edomites, they'd be. Walking around, they you know they shit out without <laughs> caring, and I'm pretty sure uh, it's the same in women's locker room. All right, so it was uh, he wasn't supposed to see his see his father butt naked. All right, and the other two brothers knew that. That's why they went going backwards. All right, so verse 24, and Noah awoke from his wine and knew that his younger son had and knew what his younger son had done unto him, and he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Bless, uh, blessed be the Lord, power of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. All right, so now, you know, and it's a very well-known fact that Ham, you know, is the progenitor of the African black races, if you want to say. All right, uh, uh, the Canaanites, the Philistines, Ethiopians, uh, uh, I believe Amorites, all under there, just a whole, the Hittites, uh, uh, Jebusites, a whole host, all those are you know, what we would call Africans today, right? And it tells you that they were going to be a servants, uh, that their curse was going to be servants unto their brethren, which their brethren was Shem and Japheth. And who, the major two lines that come out of Shem is the Israelites. Or, or I'll say there's a couple lines that come out of Shem. The Israelites, the Elamites, the Edomites, uh, the Assyrians, uh, the Syrians, all right, so you have a lot of family groups that came out of Shem, and then Japheth, who we know today, uh, you know, the many uh, Polynesians, all right, whatever they want to be called. So Ham would be a servant unto all of them, all right? And then when you look over at, uh, now some of these pictures, you're actually seeing Israelites, but let's take a group, let's take a Hammy looking group. Let's take a very Hamitic looking uh, picture right here. So it was said that they're going to be a curse to be servants, right? Now keep in mind what they look like. They're also they are a dark-skinned group of people and it says that they're going to be servants. And when you read the scriptures at some point, hey, everyone hey, people made servants out of Ham too. And in their condition today in 2020, are right, because it is a fact, even biblical scholars of the world will tell you that the uh Af that you know, blacks come from Ham that I've Okay, so we understand that they're Hamites, right? Uh, these would be all this. These would be descendants of Ham. That's why Africa's so poor over there, getting treated like shit. 
you know, they was taking slaves and whatnot. Well, what does the scriptures also say about the Hebrew Israelites? All right. And we're going to make this real simple and easy, uh, uh, irrefutable fact concerning uh, the Hebrew Israelites. Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to start at verse. Uh, let's see. I'll start at now. This was being told to the Israelites just to prove it. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 1 it says, And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So this is talking about the Israelites. If they do all these, then they will be the best. But if they don't, then what will happen? All right, let's. Uh, Hey, verse 16, Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be thy, the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand to, for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings. Whereby thou hast forsaken me. So, whoa, wait a minute. The Lord also said to what other nation, the Israelites, that they would be, uh, that they would become uh, a cursed people. All right. Matter of fact, what else does it go on to say? Because it said that Ham would be servants, right? Who else would become uh, servants right here? Jumping down to verse 32, it says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail without longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. All right. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. And thou sh shalt be only oppressed and crushed all the way. So what other group of people fits this category? All right. The scriptures told you that Ham was also going to be a servant unto everybody. But what other group of people fits being crushed daily? Fits going into slavery? fits uh uh you know having uh uh every disadvantage uh possible hang on all right right here let's type this up let's see i can simply just type up race rights right now prove it but we'll type this up so what two groups of people you know i forget who oh i was watching uh, the elder apostle tahar's video that he did yesterday uh, I believe, or the day before, I have to take it back. All right here. All right. And then, you know, Latinos and Native Americans are also included. I'm just grabbing uh, the Southern Kingdom because of how similar uh, they look in actual physical appearance. It was told that these people and that these people would be, uh, would be made servants. All right. So I'm bringing this to show you this helps prove our point. Both of these nations dark-skinned people. What other nations on the planet Earth are in uh, an extremely low condition and have always been in an extremely low condition? All right? Con at least concerning the Hamites, they haven't been great since uh, Egypt. And concerning the Israelites, we haven't been great since uh, the rule of King Solomon, which only lasted 40 years. All right, In the last couple uh, 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 I'll say thousand years these two people groups have been catching hell you know so who else who else can uh fit that all right hey so they don't, hey, there ain't no way you can cut it to uh <laughs> we're the israelites all right it's just plain and put and even things that don't directly say it help us prove it dealing with that factor that genesis who else is suffering uh and is a servant of everybody. All right, the Israelites right now. Why? Because that was the curse that the Heavenly Father gave to the Israelites for not keeping his commandments. All right, and he gave a similar curse to the Hamites, all right, for Ham witnessing his naked father. So what two nationalities of people are out here just getting shitted on by everybody? And when you look around in the world, hey, and now, you know, there's always, hey, at some point in time, every nation has uh, went through a major tribulation. But what we're talking about on a consistent basis and on a daily basis, hey, they over there eating, uh, the Hamites is over there shitting in bricks. You know, a 
lot of them. Shit. Let's see. Uh, right here, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord by power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. All right, I'm going to jump down. So this tells you that the Israelites were going to be a cursed nation too. All right, and specifically, it tells you right here, verse 68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And we know that this Egypt is talking about modern-day America. All right, the final captivity, not the ancient Egypt. You can walk from Israel to Egypt probably within a couple of weeks, all right, give or take. It says, By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you should be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So to be sold unto one human being to another would make you what? A servant. So what two groups of people have been extreme servants on this planet? All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For all you scoffers, vocab, you got to answer that. And all you so called Christian theologians, all right, that say that, oh, you know, black people, you're only Hamites. Well, no, wait a minute. There's another group of people that was told that they're going to be servants too, all right, that they're going to be down always and then when you look at the people who claim to be uh the descendants when you look at the the uish i'll call them when you look at the uish they don't fit that category they, they're living it up good they say oh we've always known who we are well according to the scriptures it says that the israelites were going to do what Let's do this real quick so not only were we going to be uh a servant but we were also going to forget I'll just read it first. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. And that's just the spirit, because I didn't know, I didn't remember that this latter part was in here. Furthermore, so what group of people became servants and forgot who they are? They call themselves after what their oppressors have labeled them. All right, right here. Back to us. All right. Back to us. And let's not forget. Let's not forget our, our brothers and sisters because we're coming back together now. All right, we're not. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is breaking down that uh, middle wall partition. We're coming, we're coming back together. All right. Now, some of them might be some tears, but these are our people too. All right. What, hey, what other group of people does this fit? Because they're Israelites. You know, they became servants and discontinued from their heritage, and they call themselves after their oppressor. All right. And, and last but not least, our brothers that didn't suffer real hard over here. All right. What other groups of people has this happened to? Bam. It's cold. Hey, look, you know, training the, training the young ones. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, you know, and they they weren't following the law to 100%. But hey, even some of the, look, wow, look what he has on. If you can see my mouse, fringes on, y'all. Look, this one standing right here, a border of blue. So so come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Who's Come on. You know, who, el who else could it be? Why would they be wearing it? Even he has his fringes on. And it looks like he has a border of blue around his. All right. He has a border of black around his. Well, come on. You know, what? Who, who else is this describing? Who else uh, does this fit? All right. Who else lost their heritage and became slaves throughout the whole land? All right. And happened to have another common thing, uh, have something in common with these people who are also slaves and servants throughout the world. All right. Because they often, we often get mixed up with one another. All right. And the Lord set it up like that for a specific reason. Right, so that's about it for this video. Uh, you know, I just wanted to touch on that topic. That hurts. It shows you, you know, hey, it helps helps you identify because not only are the Ham not only are the Hamites in a low state right now, but the Israelites are too. So the true Israelites are going to be living it up and back in the Holy Land before the Messiah gets there. Uh, they're going to be still slaves waiting for the Lord to come and redeem them. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Rakhakavash. Wanted to the elders of Pops and Mary peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, walk, walk, and learning, teaching the truth and sincerity. And I'm going to say, Shalom.